artist. Now what? There's all these things out there, like, um, not, not spoken about so much now, but like things like Fiverr that make you feel like, oh, you got to start on Fiverr. You right, know, right, right, right. Charge $5, well, that sort of thing. Well, that's why a lot of graphic design people hate Fiverr, <laughs> because they're, yeah. they're guys who think, the, and then they'll go to these uh, actual graphic designers and think, hey, I, you know, I could get this uh, logo on Fiverr. Right, and then the graphic designer's like, "Well, then go, <laughs> go, go for it! Yeah. Yeah. Knock yourself out, pay five bucks, yeah. you'll get five dollars of a, lo a five dollar worth of a logo. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get." <laughs> but you gotta, I, and I always say this too: whenever I sell original art, at the end of the day, your artwork is only worth as much as somebody's willing to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, whether that be an original piece of art or even the artwork you do for a particular company, yeah. it's only worth what somebody's willing to say yes for. So it's up to you to build up your art to the point where people are willing to pay for it. It's just like people who come up to me who want to draw comic books. And they say, uh, you know, uh, I want this comic. You know, how do I get into comics? I got to be comics. Well, I always tell them, first of all, you got to be honest with yourself. Okay? Look at the books on the shelf right now. Look at the people Marvel and DC hire. Put your artwork up to theirs. And then really be honest with yourself. Will someone pick your art over theirs mm -hmm. because the thing about the comic book industry you're not just competing with newbies you're not just competing with young kids trying to get into comics you're competing with professionals who want to stay in comics right like you're not trying to be the best in yes. high school exactly college. right yeah it's, it's not a tier like there yeah. there are people like uh, veteran comic book artists who are still work looking for work today and they're competing for the same job that you are at the same day so you have to make sure that your your artwork is commercial enough mm -hmm. Or if for uh, Marvel or DC or any of these comic book companies to step back and say, hey, this person is going to make us money. This person is going to sell this book. Right? That's what your art has to say. And you have to be really honest with yourself that their art looks as good, if not better, than the person on the shelf right now. If it's not there, then how do you get it there? That's what you got to ask yourself. How can you take your art from that to better than what you see on the shelf? Okay? So would you say that that's like a higher bar than people are expecting or is high not the right word it, it's adjusting the bar more pragmatically more realistically yeah yeah i, I think it's more real because like, everyone loves their own art i, I guess or yeah, everyone yeah, thinks yeah. their art is good <laughs> well i won't say everyone for the most part i think people do have a uh, higher value of their art mm -hmm. than what's really there mm -hmm. like even, even myself like i know there's always things i need to learn even after a 20, 30 year career in art, I know there's a lot of stuff I need to learn. Um, and that's for everybody, right? And it's just being humble enough to take a step back. It's like, okay, how can I get better? Instead of going, this, this editor doesn't know what he's talking about, yeah. right? Or, or these people don't know what they're talking about. Oh, if my book was on the shelf. Well, then put your money where you go out this. Prove it. And how can you prove it? Try to build a social media following with your art. That's what I would say to that person who refuses to learn. The person who refuses to learn, the person who refuses to take what an editor says to heart, okay, fine. If you fully believe that your art is enough to make people buy, then prove it. Put your stuff online. Try to sell prints online, right? Try to sell a comic book online. And if a lot of people buy it, or a lot of people love your art, then maybe you do have a shot. Maybe the editors were wrong at the end of the day. But that's the only way to prove it these days, you know? No, right? So. That's interesting. Yeah. Because, like, uh, you're talking about that. And I guess that segues into the next thing that we'll talk about here. That method of being able to prove your worth mm -hmm. is not something that was available, say, mm -hmm. when, you know, like you and I <laughs> yeah. graduated from college. <laughs> absolutely, right? absolutely. YouTube itself. Like, I, like, I mean, mm -hmm. at the time, YouTube didn't exist. Right. So it's not like as if you left college and said, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I'd say even four years ago, people would be like, what's a YouTuber? Yeah, but now, exactly. Now people are like, okay. Well, well, which is why, which is why I always tell my kids to, um, and something I learned: if 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 they found a job that I have no idea what it what it is, right? Yeah. And they came up to me and said, uh, "Dad, I want to be a a fluffer buffer, sure, or whatever, whatever, yeah. a kerfluffer or whatever. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm yeah. calling it that, right? Whatever that is, I'll I'll say, well, first of all, it's your life. You you do a you know." You have to do what makes you happy. But I would love to see how you can make money doing that, right? A living, if you will. Yeah, at least, at least prove to yourself that you could make a living doing the Claire Fluff living, right? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Because, like you said, there was no YouTuber back then. So who am I to say that, you know, I'd never heard of that. You can't make a living off yeah, of that. Yeah. It has opened my eyes to being more open. 
to whatever my kids want to be in terms of their career when they get older, right? So that's, so, that's like, yeah. so I don't know, like, I don't know, right? Even for the artist, uh -huh. like, we're just at the first step here, right? Artists are on, on YouTube, artists are on TikTok and doing a killing on TikTok. Like, we don't know what else is there out there for the artist. Yeah. There could be a whole new set of artist jobs uh, next year, like crypto, like well, NFTs, NFTs, yeah. NFTs now, That's right? The There's a whole things. new job, right? Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we're teenagers, like little kids are getting, getting millions for selling these NFTs yeah. now, right? So it's stuff that wasn't there before. So I'm definitely much more open now than, than I was in the past, definitely.